Hello everyone! In today's video, I'll show you how to fix the issue where the Wi-Fi adapter is missing on your Windows 10 PC. This is a common problem where you don't see any Wi-Fi signals, and when you open Device Manager and check under Network Adapters, your wireless network adapter isn't listed. Let's go through the methods to fix this step by step. Step 1. Check for hidden devices. First, open Device Manager by searching for it in the Start menu. In Device Manager, go to the View tab at the top and select Show Hidden Devices. If your Wi-Fi adapter appears in the list but is disabled, right-click on it and select Enable Device. If the adapter doesn't show up even after this, go to the Action tab and select Scan for hardware changes. This might re-enable the Wi-Fi adapter if it was uninstalled for some reason. Once it's re-enabled, you should see your Wi-Fi networks again and be able to connect. If this doesn't work, proceed to the next method. Step 2. Run the network troubleshooter. Go to Start, Open Settings, then navigate to Network and Internet. Scroll down and click on Troubleshoot or Network Troubleshooter. Windows will scan for problems with your network adapter and if possible, fix them automatically. If an issue is found, Windows will provide an option to apply the fix. Click on Apply Fix, restart your PC, and check if the Wi-Fi adapter is now visible. If not, move on to the next method. Step 3. Check Windows Services. Open the Services app by searching for Services in the Start menu. Once inside, look for the WLAN Auto Config service. Right-click on it and select Properties. Set the startup type to Automatic, then click Apply and OK. If the service is not running, click Start to enable it. Do the same thing for WON Auto Config. Make sure service is running. If not, right-click on it. Then go to Properties, select Startup Type Automatic, and start the service. Click on Apply and OK. So you have to start these services. Restart your computer and check if the Wi-Fi adapter appears. Step 4. Fix Socket API Errors. If the issue persists, open Command Prompt as an administrator. To do this, search for CMD, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. Type the following command, net sh winsock reset, then press Enter. This will reset the network socket settings. After running this command, restart your computer and check if the issue is resolved. If not, try another command, net cfg d. This command will remove and reinstall all WAN mini port devices. Restart your computer after executing it and check again. Step 5. Perform a network reset. If the above methods don't work, go to Settings, then Network and Internet, and scroll down to Network Reset. Click Reset Now and confirm your choice. Windows will delete all network profiles and restart the system. Once it restarts, check if the Wi-Fi adapter appears. Step 6. Use System Restore. If you've previously created a restore point, you can use it to roll back your system to a time when the Wi-Fi adapter was working. Press Windows plus R, type R-S-T-R-U-I dot E-X-E, and hit Enter. Follow the prompts to select a restore point where your network adapter was functioning. Click Next and complete the process. Restart your PC and check if the issue is resolved. Step 7. Reinstall network drivers. If none of the above methods work, you may need to reinstall the network drivers. On a working computer, visit your laptop or motherboard manufacturer's website. It may be Asus HP or any laptop manufacturer. You just have to go to the official website and then select your product and model. You should see similar interface, then you need to go to Driver and Utilities. And you may have to select your operating system, choose Windows 10, if you are on Windows 10, of course. Then you should see these kind of networking drivers, and from there you have to download the latest Wi-Fi driver for your laptop. Download it and transfer it to affected computer and install the driver. After that, you have to restart your affected computer. By following these steps, you should be able to resolve the issue of the missing Wi-Fi adapter on your Windows 10 PC. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and leave a comment below. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay updated on future tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a great day.